flaming horror. Glands, the doctors all said, as they turned their heads away in disgust and horror. So Tubby Brandt went through life unwanted and unloved, a monster among men. Then came an even greater mirror, and Tubby sought in vain for death until fate relented and let him find love in the cold arms of a ghost. Tubby Brandt had a cruel childhood. Yay, look at Fatty! Tubby! Tubby! Ah! Go away, you nasty fat boy! L leave me alone! And later it was no better. You mean there's no hope? I have to look like this all my life. I'm sorry, Mr. Brandt. You have a glandular disease. We can do nothing. Fate had Tubby's number. I'm sorry, but there are no openings at present. We'll keep you in mind. Yes, I know. I've heard it often enough. That night... I might as well give up. No one will hire me. I'm broke. Got kicked out of my boarding house. It's hopeless. Fifty cents. Just what I've got in my pocket. But it's better than sleeping in the gutter. So... I'll look for a job again tomorrow. If no one will hire me, I'll commit suicide. One more day. Even at that moment, in another part of the flop house. Fire! Fire! Call the fire department. They'll never save that rat trap! And inside the blazing inferno. Fire! Got to g get out! Come on! There ain't any fire escape! Those stairs! Our only chance! But once more, Tubby's weight betrays him. Huh? The stairs! Won't hold for me! Ah! Later in a hospital. Ugh. Oh, pretty nasty, sir. Third degree burns. Yes. The kindest thing would be to let him die. But we can't do that. We'll try our best. Two months later, as they prepare to take off the bandages. How will my face look, Doctor? Hard to say now, Mr. Brandt. But you must expect the worst. You're lucky to be alive. The nurse sees Tubby's face. No! I can't! I... guess I know the answer. And he... ha ha... said I was lucky to be alive. The next day, as Tubby leaves the hospital... A letter for you, sir. For me? Who would write me? Cousin Joseph, dead. And he left everything to me. Soon. The letter didn't say much. Just that the house was sort of run down. And there's a little money. And... Not much to look at, but the man at the station said there aren't any neighbors. That's good. I can be all alone. That night as Tubby gazes into the fire... My luck has changed. My own house and enough money to live on. I won't have to see anybody. Won't have to watch them shudder when they look at me. Suddenly, Tubby hears a strange sound. Don't be afraid. I won't hurt you. Ah, <sighs> who are you? This is m my house now. You're not real. You're a ghost. Yes, a ghost. But even a ghost can be lonely. A ghost? Lonely? Yes. I was murdered in this house long ago, but I never left it. What happened to your poor face? 
why. You're almost as ugly as I am. But I don't frighten you? My face doesn't disgust you? So for the first time in his life, a woman kisses Tubby. What matter that she is a ghost? Nobody would love me while I was alive because I was ugly. But I like you. You kissed me! Weeks pass. For the first time in his life, Tubby Brandt is happy and loved. And then one stormy day. A car. But no one ever comes here. I'll soon get rid of them. But... Go away, I tell you. Leave me in peace. You don't understand, fella. I got a right here. What do you m mean? This is my house. Not anymore, it ain't. You gotta get out. We found oil on this land, and we looked up your title. It's no good. Your late cousin never paid his taxes. My company owns it now. No! Please let me stay! This is the only place I've ever found happiness! Can't you understand? Look at my face! Uh, I'm looking. You belong in a freak show. Better get out fast, you gargoyle. Out of the shadows. Here, Tubby. Kill him. Quickly. Huh? Yes, I'll do it. Ha 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 ha! That's right, Tubby! I'll show you. Steal my land, huh? No, help! Don't! You can't get away! Gah! Tripped! Ah! He's to dead! You made me do it! Of course I did. It was all part of a plan, darling Tubby. Carry him into the house quickly. I don't understand. What plan? The police will come. I'll be arrested. No, you'll see. Everything will be all right, and we'll go away together. As Tubby turns to face his ghostly lover. What? Yes, Tubby. Before we can be together, you have to die too. in a minute. N no, don't kill me. I I'll keep my promise, darling. In just a few minutes, we'll be together forever. Nobody will ever taunt you about your fat and scarred face again. A match. There. Minutes later. Ain't that where the fat man's been living? Look at her go. Hope nobody is in there. What a blaze! And still later. That's the fat one, all right. Not much left of him. Wonder who the other fellow was. While on a dark hill nearby. You see, Tubby? It's over. We can be happy now. Yes. I never guessed that death could be better than living.